Welcome to the LA Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. Hi, this is Stevie for the LA Story, and we're back with the What's in My Handbag this week. And for the handbag, this is the really fun part. This is from Emily Sloan bag. This is her wonderful Juliet Market tote. It's plasticized, so it's actually very, very eco-friendly. And you can use it to go to the market, so you can see how great this is. And I love the pattern on it because it's very vintage-y. It's very cool, so it's kind of a brick color with an ivory detail. And the handles are really comfortable so as you can see you can it holds it works as a bag that you can walk around with you can take it to the market but you can also take it to the beach so we're kind of filling it full of things today that you would kind of maybe go to the beach with or throw into your bag if you're going off with your girlfriends for you know for the day for the weekend during the weekend so that you actually had some things that you could either read or listen to or touch up your makeup and all those good things so this is way cool. You find the link for Emily Sloan Seattle bags on the blog, which I love this thing. Obviously, makeup, you need that. Great little makeup bag. As you can see, it's uh, from really cool. It's got places for lipsticks, and it's a nice size bag, so it holds a lot. This is from Junior Drake. You can find this online or in stores. Um, you might pretty much find this one online. This comes in lots of different colors. I've given this as gifts to people and people have loved them, so I like it a lot. One of the first things that when you go to the beach, you always or usually want to read something. So here are my two current books that I've been reading. The Road Back to Home, which is uh, a nonfiction book written by a woman who it's about healing and recovering from codependency. Um, addiction, enabling, and low self-esteem. Actually, this is kind of like her life story. It's not as heavy as it sounds, but it's about her life, and I think it's really interesting and worth a read. So you might want to take a look at this. This is from Lisa A. Romano. You can find it online um, and probably in bookstores. The other one is a fiction book, which I have done an interview with MJ Rose about this book. It's called The Book of Lost Fragrances. The LA Times beat me to it in terms of writing about it, but they don't have the interview that I have with MJ Rose. This is a, a nice non-fiction, a nice fiction book that actually delves into fragrance. And there's also a fragrance that partners with this book too. You have to buy that separately. But it's really interesting fragrance and a really amazing mystery book. It's about a murder and it a woman who goes back into her family business and it's really, I like this book a lot. It's intoxicating, okay? So if you're gonna deal in books about fragrance, you want to deal in fragrance, which this little guy is perfect for the beach. This is from Sasha Varen. This is Soulgasm, S-O-U-L-G-A-S-M. Someone said that when I was wearing this little fragrance that I smelled like sex on a plate. And that was a woman who said that which is really pretty funny, but it's a very sexy, fun fragrance. It's light enough to wear during the day, definitely perfect for nighttime, and uh, I like it a lot. So if you find that you want to try this, you should go and Google up Soulgasm because you will find it online pretty much that's where it's available. Or you might check Beauty Cafe because I think beautycafe.com has it as well. One of the most important things for the weekend or for any time or glasses eyewear. Now, there's two different things that you have. You have eyewear, which is what you wear during the day in the office, or if you want to see something because you're reading. So here's an epiletine, the most unusual glasses I've ever seen. Um, creative is what I call it. If you look at it, you can see that they've got red on the top, and they're got blue and black stripes down here on the bottom. It's For me, it just said, it spoke to me in terms of color, in terms of 4th of July, in terms of just being a fun pair of glasses that you might want to try. The whole line is amazing. She has an array of sunglasses 
an array of eyewear that is just phenomenal. You can find it at 1010 Optic, which here's the sunglasses that I picked out to wear, quote, for this weekend little information little video. And as you can see, these are gradated frames or lenses with great little frames. And these are made in France. And um, I think these are called Soul. Anyways, it's, uh, they come in other colors. There's lots of different styles. You'll see another video that will just be on eyewear and sunglasses. This, these are just awesome. And in case you want to try a different brand, we also have Salt. And Salt has these. These are a little different. It's black where the frame is actually gradated. The, eye, you know, the lens isn't. And you could wear these as sunglasses if you wanted, but these really kind of make a statement. And I like how they look. They're a nice smoky gray frame, and they've got a little bit of streaks in here across the, around the bridge and on the side. And as you can see, it's here on the, and it's, um, this one's called the Adler um, AG, and it's really a great frame. Very interesting to wear. And then my favorite pair from Salt. God, I love these. The Aviators. Okay, I don't know what they're called. All I know is that these are the aviators and this is the sunglass for me. <laughs> so I think they're fun. And actually they're great because when you look at them sideways, they cover enough of your eyes so that if you're in a convertible or you're at a beach and it's blowing, you've got enough coverage and protection for your eyes. So, and by the way, salt is not inexpensive, so don't be surprised at how much it costs. In case you are looking for music to play, we have a couple of CDs here to recommend. From XNY, this is Through the Wall. It's a new CD, their newest CD, and it's just out. And um, it's an interesting little piece to, to listen to. Um, something that I'm going to be digging into, so look for a review on that. And then we have Joanne Weaver, Intercell Interstellar Songbook, which is a really interesting thing like Black Coffee, We Three, Nature Boy. There's a lot of different things. This is of a book of classics, but brought modern and more contemporary. And I really like the fact that she's done this. Um, when Sunny Gets Blue, How High the Moon, Moon River, things like that. This is for maybe um, if you all, all your girlfriends are just sitting around and you want to plug something in, this might be an interesting thing to listen to. Nails are big on my list these days. And Zoya is one of my favorite brands. And this is one of the sets that I got from um, Good Morning America's uh, coupons. And this was the summer set that I picked out with yellow and green and this kind of fuchsia color, which is really pretty. I also have another one since I'm really into polish. This one is from Deborah Lippman, and this is called Between the Sheets, which is a nice, really red violet. What you need if you're going to be out in the sun is sunscreen for your nail polish so it doesn't turn colors. But what you really need is Dazzle Dry. Dazzle Dry is a three-part advanced vegan nail system used by professionals but made for you to be able to use so that you can use the nail prep for before you put on your polish. Then you use the base coat and you allow it to dry. You put on your color lacquer, which is the polish. So, you know, pick one and then put a, top, a coat of single coat of the top coat, or maybe two, and the whole thing dries in about five minutes. So you've got a way of protecting your nails, and then you can also you know, use the oily, if you're going down to the sun, you know, to the beach, or gonna be out in the sun biking, or whatever you're gonna do. This really works. This will make such a difference in the quality of your nails, you won't believe it. And this sells out, and it really, I mean, Allure Magazine loves this. I love this, this is just such a great brand. But when you're out there and you're done with the beach, you're done with hanging out with your girlfriends, you might want to touch up your makeup, you might have something else to do. NYX is an affordable line that has some really interesting little products that make it easy to stash, whether it's in the makeup case or just toss into the, into the bag. These are eye pencils, they're jumbo eye pencils, which are really fun. This one happens to be in copper, this one is dark brown. Also have a felt tip liner in case you want a little more definition and want to go a little more retro. They also have wonderful cream eyeshadows in gold and in bronze. 
So you can see them like this, and they do a nice little dot. Oops. See, as you can see, it's a cream eyeshadow, so you can actually apply as much and smudge it across your lid as easily as you want, as much as you want. Also, um, lip colors, glosses, which this is pink rose, a little bit warm, so coral for more of uh, current trends. And this is vanilla, which is a golden shimmer lip gloss, which I think is phenomenal. It looks great if you, particularly if you've got a really great, powerful lip color, and if it's worn off a little bit and you want to dazzle it up, this would be a really nice color to use. And then if you want to use that lip color that isn't quite so powerful, you can use the NYX color, which this is elusive, and this is a pinky, shimmery color that's really gorgeous. I like this a lot. NYX is affordable. You can find it at drugstores almost every place. And then, um, of course, you always need mascara, so use the mascara you want. But don't forget to use Talika Lipo Seals, which is, will help your um, eyelashes, after, particularly after a day at the beach. You want to make sure that they're moisturized and nourished and hydrated before you apply the mascara. This stuff goes on at night before you go to bed. It goes on before you apply mascara in the morning, and it really works in terms of lengthening, darkening, and making your lashes curl. So this is Stevie for the LA Story saying, I hope that you have a uh, range here enough of things to go check out. And now you've seen what's in my bag for the weekend. And uh, see you soon, people. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on LA Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now. www.la-story.com.